welcome back it's been a while haven't posted a video in a while hopefully this one will be a bit different we have our new edition as promised we now have Simon Leach inspired Potter's Hat hopefully it'll be my thing and hopefully it'll not block the camera too much so treats for you today now I've had it prepped for some time, some blue agate ware and recently I've made some mini planters and I thought why not combine the two? I need a cloth. Why not combine our two items? Do an agate ware mini planter. So we got our agate ware, blue agate ware. We will adjust our camera, trying a different camera angle for you as well. Hopefully I won't block it out too much with a big head. Got enough light on the matter I think. Might change that light. A bit light on the matter there, that should be a bit better. Not too many shadows on oh, us, no, that's it. Oh, that's better. Oh, just it. So, I've never done one of these, never tried, it just popped into my head. Clear's been hanging about for a while, so it's a bit on the dry side. Hopefully, we'll not lose the agate wear too much. So, the idea is. We will throw it an all-in-one mini planter. Ooh, that water's nice and cold as well. So with agate ware, don't want to mix our clay up too much. So I'm just going. Corn this up, and as we've done before, there with the colorant to give you clear a bit of a drier texture. Right, so we'll center it. Good. So from there on, so we'll leave that as is. So we're going to leave the middle bit, so we're going to move over and we're going to split our clear. So that's about all right there. Slow it a little bit. So to start with, we want this nice and flat. So my idea is, when we come to put the grain or expose the grain, we can use our metal rib to scrape that back and then turn it up. And then we will go, we'll break in to this bit. Check to us. So this is the bit we want to throw. Nice and consistent. So 
So we go high before we go wide. And go slow. Right, so this do one more. So that will be our ship, clean our rib, and again we're going to, so haven't used them much, uh, I can always forget the name, they are mud tools, rib, got lots of different angles and things on it. So all I'm going to do going to go really slow. I'm just going to give this a bit more definition. Smooth it off a little bit. Do need get the water out there so and see what's going on. Good mini planter ship. Right, I'm going to clean this because I don't want it to be stained or get covered in the blue stuff for when we change because I've got red to do later on. Now, you see, I'm thinking on the fly with this one, so, so now what I want to do and finish our top. Or a chamois somewhere in here. So we will show me our top. Right. Now need the metal rib. Go nice and slow. So now I'm going to scrape the side to expose. green. I'm not really doing anything, just scraping. So that gets rid of all of that. And that has exposed our green, which is good. So on this one, we want to do the same on this bit as well. So we'll stop that so and say, yeah, it's, it's sort of worked. Right, so now I'll clean this off. I want to get rid of our, our water in the bottom. And now we want to put our our holes in before we lift our edge up. Uh, where is our hole to? I haven't been in here for such a long time, everything's a bit of a bit of a mess. That's too small. Uh, that one will do. I'm sure I've got some more somewhere, but that one will do. too small. They're the same. That'll do. 
they do shrink after all so so we are going to guess where that is get that out of the way so there's our little plug of marble clay they would make great uh, thumb rests on a cup so I'm going to do my normal, a third So there's our drain holes completed. And what I'll attempt to do without destroying everything, try and give you a closer look. So I've got to lift the camera and try and keep it in shot. So that's the ins that's from right above. And there's a, a side shot. If I can see, if I can get you in the shot, there we are. So we've got that. So I'll put you back up here. So we're in shot. Yes, just that's it. So we've done that. So now we're just going to flip that edge up. So we don't want we don't want our metal rib. So that is too sharp. We might as well, saying that we have it. We'll use our mud tills. So we'll get the blunt end. So I mean actually I'm just going to use my fingers to start with. So all we're going to do is flick that end up so that becomes our drip tray. So I'll wet the end of my fingers. I'm just going to push them underneath the clear. Like that and then just curve that up like so, like that and then a uh, little knife so we use our throwing stick just our throwing stick and do our normal little undercut just it straighten this edge off like so and I'm thinking because we want to expose as much grain as possible we'll get the edge of our Our metal rib again. Give that a good scrape. What's that look like? Oh, that's nice. And that's it. I'm going to just use the short end of the chamois. Do that. Need my wire sponge first. Rid of the water. I think that's come out pretty well actually. So hopefully I haven't thrown a tooth in, so we will just wire. Get the 
this going a little bit slower. That's it, we'll just wire that through and stop it. And there you go. And there is an all in one agate ware mini planter in blue. So there you go, that worked out pretty well actually. Quite pleased with that. So we'll get the back on to my bracket and my lovely potter's hat. So thanks for watching, quick video, hopefully get back into it. More videos to come hopefully. And thanks for watching, remember clears the way. See you in another video very soon. Bye for now.